G'day guys, welcome to GJ Bricks. Now today I'm going to be reviewing the 2022 LEGO City Passenger Train, set number 60337. This one comes in at 764 pieces and we're going to start off by talking about one thing. This train is 25% more expensive than the previous train. And when I go through this review, I want to try and sort of pick up on where that money is in this set versus the old one. Is it the new Lego markup or is it something else? You do get some extra pieces in this, like for example, it does have lights on the front. And also, there's a few other changes like it's brick built. They've gone away from the actual molded noses and actually brick built this train again, which is good. And there's one other big difference as well, which is it's longer than the last train. So everything is a bit bigger, a bit more specialist pieces to accommodate a couple of the features. And again, I'll have a look at that as I go through the review. Um, the other thing I will say was when the 20, the last 20, was it 2019 train came out, um, there was a bit of controversy because it had an engine and two cars and not a back engine like the old trains used to give you. Guess what? This one does the same thing. There's an engine and two carriages. So what Lego is trying to do immediately off the bat is encourage you to buy a second one of these trains to complete it. Now what some people will do is go onto Bricklink and things like that and buy a second one of these, which you can do. And what the people are selling on there will have done is strip out the motor and stuff because you don't generally need the motor in the back engine unless you're running a full length train you don't need the second motor. So that's a cheap way of doing it. You'll get the engine for $40, saves you the money of buying it, spending $250, which is how much this is on the entire train. So I'm gonna try and bear these things in mind as I go through the review and cover off the various changes that add up to making this set more expensive and then try to sort of answer that question of, is it worth that extra 25% or not? So let's get into this review. I've immediately hit a problem doing this review, which is my desk is not big enough for this train. So I'm gonna be doing it a bit at a time, which I sort of plan to do anyway, but I hoped it would fit a bit better on here. I've used some of the track that came with the set as well. Uh, I've actually made another mistake as well, which is I can't actually run it around my track at the moment. So I'll do that in a separate video. You don't need to see this running. I'm gonna focus on the actual build of it. We know how it works, it's a Lego train. I can cover that all off in a separate video for you. I'm gonna focus purely on the set, what's in it and how it works. I will also gonna make one comment as well, which has been, um, I, I got pulled up on by a toy designer actually, which was I focused a bit too much on the adult side of things with some of my reviews. And that's a very true, I need to focus on who this is actually aimed at. And this is a seven plus set. So I'm gonna try and look at it from the playability, the buildability, what's included in it, the value. I'm also gonna to touch on sort of some of the other things that as an adult builder, I think could be improved in this set. There are things I don't like, but ultimately, I'm going to focus on that playability and buildability. So let's start off by having a look at the station here. Now, this is pretty much a bog standard station that comes with Lego trains. Um, there are not many things they can do with this, but what I like is they've included a nice tree here. We've got our standard map. That's fine. It's just a standard map piece. I'll just get this guy out of the way. We'll talk about this bike in a minute. And you also get a very nicely built bench as well. This bench is really good because usually you just get some seats on here, but the fact they've actually built a bench, I think is really nice. The minifigures can just sit there and just wait for their train to arrive. I think is a really nice feature. Otherwise, it really is nothing to write home about on this other than good piece usage. You get some nice parts in it. Um, perfect for waiting for the trains come along. Good clearance. I maybe would say, you know, looking at it from a slightly practical point of view, the gap between the train and the platform is possibly a little large. I'm not sure this little person could cover those two stuff. Actually, it would be three studs onto the train. But again, this is a play set. <laughs> it's not an adult set. I just had to get that in there. I apologize. So let's start off looking at this engine. Very much inspired by the Japanese and Chinese bullet train kind of feature here with this snout coming out 
all very streamlined, very brick built. And I like the fact that they include the splitter underneath here as well. And I'll show you the Horizon Express in a moment as a comparison, because it's kind of very much built, not the same way, but it has a certain feel about a sort of more uh, economical version of that, shall we say, in a city format. The actual whole thing is brick built. So you've got these massive triangular pieces here to fill in this color. Uh, I'm not, I don't think there is actually that color in a slope that would have done that. So they had to use that piece. Again, nicely curved here. Um, and these steps up here with the light pieces in there. The actual engine driver here sits in a bay. Nice amount of rim in there. You can see the cabling running through underneath there as well. Just a control panel and a simple seat. Really isn't a lot more they could have put in there. I do like that it's finished off with this stub just to sort of make it whole look finished. And there's a really nice cockpit piece there as well. The actual rest of the detailing on the engine, they've used a couple of these teeth pieces from Technic. And you get one of the power pickups on the top here. And this green button here is how you turn it on and off. And I like the fact they've done this kind of a bit differently. And they've used these big six by four panels everywhere on the roof, which is a way of filling it in. They've done that on a few sort of bus sets and things like that. On the side here, we've got our standard Lego City train uh, sticker. And this is kind of the same, almost identical design in how this is put together as the last train. This obviously is different with these triangular pieces which is interesting so these are the two by two triangular panels which makes it you know a nice interesting finish to it and one thing I do really like which I'll touch on a bit more with the other carriages is the way this end is done with these hexagonal you know this 45 degree piece here because it kind of has the effect of making the train it actually allows the trains to sit closer to each other and go around the corners and addresses a sort of bit of a problem that trains have always had, which is they can't touch each other. And I'll show you that in a second on the other carriages. So when you actually lift this out, this whole piece comes out nice and easily. And there's your battery box if you want to change it. The control box is there. There's the two cables going in. So it's very easy. It works exactly, exactly the same way as the last one. It's even got the same pieces here where these panels sit into. So it just all slots together like that. In terms of the underside here, we've got the motor and then we've got this big panel here, which we've seen in some of the space sets and things like that from the last few years. And then just our bog standard bogey. One thing I will say as an adult builder that I've never been a fan of is the fact that on these city trains, you get this nice big bogey and then a little piddly bogey. I do really wish they were the same size, but that's really nitpicking. I'd love to see this. I'd love to see it match up like to look the same it doesn't have to be two motors but to look the same that would be really good and then we've just got this really simple window here which is obviously meant to be like the sort of door or entryway into the train um which as again an adult builder i will say one of the things i would change is to actually make this feel more like a door but that's it so it's my only comment from an adult builder point of view of how I would change this. I think it's actually a really smashing engine. I think it, it has a real urgency to it. I'm going to do a quick comparison here as well. Here is one of my all time favorite Lego trains. I love this train, the Horizon Express. In terms of size, similar size. Now, obviously, the Horizon Express is an entirely brick built train. But you can see what I meant about the splitter here. So we've got the splitter on the front of this train. Let's see if I can get that in a bit better. So we've got splitter, splitter on each train there. So you can see what I mean about this is sort of a bit of inspiration from the Horizon Express, uh, how that's built. But in terms of like size and things like that, they are exactly the same length, which is <laughs> interesting to see. Entirely brick built Lego City train. So I think kudos to lego for for kind of bringing this look into the city line i think that's really good and also i will say for comparison here is the city train now this is actually not the standard lego city train <laughs> this has actually been lengthened um, the normal lego trains about that long so i've actually extended this one by four as i said but you get a again you can see the difference how much bigger 
this needs to be to match that train and that shows you again immediately we get into this discussion about value on this set and the fact that you've got this much extra size on everything in this train so it is probably about 12 studs bigger the whole length of the train now the first of the two passenger trains i'm going to carriages i'm going to look at here is the one that has the disabled access and the dining car from the outside you can immediately see that this is different to a normal lego train in that it has this drop section here and usually you only see that on the sort of cargo trains and people who've done mocks of carriages where they use this kind of they, there is a, another piece that makes this work uh which is similar which is one piece quite often used in police sets and things like that to do the trucks but this is actually two pieces so it's that and that come together to make this one base and then it means it has this longer floor in the middle and it means that lego could use these new door pieces which i believe this first appeared on the school the lego city school set that's out at the moment um correct me if i'm wrong but i believe that was where that came from again we're keeping this white green and black theme going everywhere from the outside, not a lot to write home about other than these doors and the fact they've used these two bricks here. I mean, it's a shame there's a gap there, but that's actually impossible to get rid of. But again, I like the fact that they've tried to keep this all brick built. They could have tried to use a sticker here. And as everybody knows, it's not Lego's forte when it comes to matching colors. So it wouldn't have looked quite right in all probability. Sorry, Lego, but you know it's true. <laughs> and everybody watching this will know it's true. We get the disabled sticker and the cafeteria, sti uh, the dining car sticker, bog standard dining car sticker, same it's been for years. The accessibility one is new and we'll see why that is. Now the roof pieces on this come apart in an interesting way come off in pieces like this it's not the whole roof that comes off and then this bit in the middle is actually fixed the reason being obviously it needs to be there to maintain the strength uh, there's actually two arch pieces inside of here I don't know if we can see that clearly on the camera here but there's an arch in there which actually is what provides the strength which is how they've made the carriages bigger one thing I will show you is we get a sticker in here showing how fast the trains going 303 kilometers per hour apparently so this is a very 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 fast train um with normal passenger style doors on it oh no nitpicking this is a play set <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry i can't help myself i'm an adult from the top down looking down we can see a dining uh, the dining cart is kind of our normal fare they fit it into the end but i think this is actually done quite well because they've used these glass pieces here to actually kind of add a bit of separation in just a simple till i i will say the dining cart that was in the previous train was rubbish was really rubbish <laughs> whereas this one is really nice now let's see if we can get a good view inside there because we've got the coffee cup dispensers in there we've got proper coffee cups we've got the hot dog there we've got a fridge there's lots going on in here and i like to see that detail you can imagine how sort of much that adds to the kind of passenger experience of playing with this set and having it you know customers being able to buy their coffee and their hot dog and things like that there's croissants there's a just a little table there oh where's my light Let's get my light over here here we go it's better so you can see there's a bit of a table there for people to sit at and then on the other end there we've got the wheelchair accessibility now let's just have a look in there if i can get inside there to show you in a bit more detail ah. the wheelchair is actually fitted into a slot underneath there we go so let's get this guy out sorry dude that is not how we get it out so there is actually a piece in there that the wheelchair clips onto to make sure it doesn't move around while the train is in motion so that's how they've actually attached the wheelchair and then at the other end of the cart we've just got two more chairs and i like to see this as well the inclusion of a baggage rail so you can put your bags in there which i think is a really good addition nice simple fare and other side is exactly the same so i think yeah that's a really nicely designed car i like the way it comes apart i like it's really like 
being done in this three part roof, it comes apart easier as well. One thing I'm not so happy with is this big plain roof. I think that could be a bit more interesting, but, but, but it's a play set and to put more detail on there like was on the Horizon Express and things would cost money and unnecessary fiddliness, unnecessary fiddliness. I like the fact that we've got this little inclusion on the end here. And one thing I did say as well was the way they've included, they've done these end pieces, which makes them really come together nicely on the corners. Look how close that is. It's almost like they're connected on that side. Obviously, if you look at it from the other side, it's absolute rubbish. It's like a massive gap, but that side looks really cool. I like that. And moving on to the final car, exactly the same as the previous car in terms of the outside. But with one addition, we have an, a new, another new thing. We've got a bike sticker. So this one has a clip in it for the bike, which I'll show you. Again, the roof comes off exactly the same way. Interior, obviously not having uh, the cafeteria, we've got two sets of seats. And then what we can also see is that there are these clips on each end here. And the way that works is, let's just get this little person out of the way. And let's get our push bike out that we're gonna put in there. The way this works is, very neatly, the stand that we usually use to attach it to the, uh, to the Lego studs goes very nicely into those holes. And that is a really, really good solution to how to mount the bike. I think that works really, really well. Kudos to whoever figured out that that would fit perfectly in there, because it does work. Magic, magic, look at that. How good is that? Otherwise, all the standard, same fare. We've got the baggage holders, the seats. It's all the same. There is nothing else to write home about in there other than those two clips. So this is the simpler carriage of the two. But I think it's interesting from the point of view of the bike clips. I think that's a great addition. Um, and, you know, from an adult point of view, one thing that is less than ideal is the fact that there's this big step up here. And I didn't mention it in the cafeteria car, but the Lego figures would actually be standing <laughs> two bricks below the cafeteria to order their food, which is a little strange. But it's a play set. It's not an adult set. <laughs> So here we have the first two minifigures. We've got this schoolgirl in her squids outfit. Really love the printing on that. The, the detail, the quality of the print on this is really good, really sharp, really bold. A nice print. She looks like she's been running for the train perhaps, sweating a little bit there, perhaps running late for the train. She's carrying a laptop. And then we've got this one with her super colorful top. I absolutely love the top on this one. I've got to say my, my Daughter has a top that's very similar to that. I, I think it looks really good. Um, she gets a suitcase and a mobile phone as well, as well as that really cool pink hair piece. Very bright, very colorful, love it. Around the back here, the printing carries on. The squids here, again, look, that's a really good print. That's great quality from Lego there. Um, the only one of the two that has a new face on the back is the lady there, just with the closed eyes, looking very happy being on the super fast train on the way to somewhere. This is the wheelchair passenger from the set. You can see here, he's got a backpack on the front, which is very cool. There's no visible print on there. Uh, I will say I love the wheelchair, very funky with the transparent wheels like that, the green, the gray, goes together very, very well. Lovely hair piece going around the back. It does have printing on his outfit as you can see. He's got the checker there, again, very well printed. The printing quality in this set generally is very, very good. There's no secondary print on the face for this one. But again, like the wheelchair is an excellent piece. We've seen that around in the green as well. I don't think I've seen the green wheels before like this. I've seen this one, but not that one. And what a great combination. I think this is a very cool, very well done character for the set. Good to see Lego doing this inclusion throughout now. I wasn't sure if this was gonna work, but I'm glad it did. The bike does actually fit onto my little minifigure stand here. So we've got the bike rider here in their mountain biking. 
top there lovely bright colors a really good orange again nicely printed not sure about the face that's on there it looks like it's been really struggling to ride up a hill or something like that i love how it comes with the headpiece and this bike i really like the design of this bike i am got this on here the way they've sort of included the the panniers at the back here is really good and she's got a nice bright light as well which is good to see more cyclists need light on their bike i'm afraid i'm a cyclist i wear lights on my bike i can make this comment then are uh, more cyclists who need to be careful with what they wear now she does have a secondary face as you can see which comes down below the bike helmet which is a little bit strange but there we are with the normal face so yeah <laughs> it looks odd but around the back again the quality of the printing on this is excellent 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 and how good is that bike i love that bike just gonna spin around that bike again i think that's really really cool and then last but by absolutely no means least our two train workers here the driver on the left and the dining car lady on the right and again the quality of the prints like i just love how bold and sharp the black lines are everywhere that's really nice hard to get right and to actually have this like little creases everywhere coming through so sharp and well perfect really really good got our little tickets in here they've got their name badges on there as well nice tie he looks really happy to be driving a 303 kilometer per hour train she looks really happy to be working in the dining car serving passengers at 303 kilometers an hour as well <laughs> nothing to report on the rest of the print for those other than around the back we've got just a very simple line again nothing to report there this one does get a secondary face though again nothing really to write home there just a nice sort of simple face again very similar to the other one to be perfectly honest <laughs> so, but yep she's got two faces that's our train workers i think they're really good different color scheme again but it works it works for this train it goes well with the green so there you have it that is my thoughts on the 2022 train in conclusion i'd say i actually am much more impressed with this train in person than i expected to be i think there's a lot to really like about it there's a couple of things i don't like about the way some of the interior is designed as i mentioned with this step i find it odd but but i am an asshole. i am not the target audience for this train this train is a playset, and for that i think it does a brilliant job i think this actually is possibly one of the most playable trains lego has made ever for a long time if you exclude the cargo trains because the cargo trains are a lot more fun to play with because you can do things with them but in terms of passenger trains i think this is probably one of the better ones because there is so much going on inside and these special doors this whole accessible area in here i think is is great the engine itself it's a nice design it, uh, when i first saw it i was like Ooh, what the hell is that but i think this is actually a good design and it's fun to build it looks good kids will love it because it looks like it goes really really fast uh, as an AFOL fan i think this is a good train i'm going to improve it make a few changes to it which i'll cover off in a separate video um i know there's some other um, youtube users who have already started to make changes to it um robin hood bricks is a good example he got a second one of these and he's done the back engine for it things like that so um yes, people are already modifying this train uh, and i'll do my own twist on this as well in line with my other trains as to how i've modified those um but i, I mean i do really like that lego has answered one of our eternal things about having doors doors as i mentioned and this new specialist door so it's a train with doors could they have done it better? Yep, I'll leave that up to you to decide. But yeah, I think overall, this is a really solid package for what you get. Is it worth the $250? That's the question. Is it worth that 25% price increase? That's a really tricky question to answer. You are actually getting more train than you did in the previous one. You're getting more bricks. You're getting more train it's longer it's the carriages are a lot longer than the previous train um 
I think it actually is worth the extra money. But, but, you'll get it on sale. Already, I got this for 25% off. So I never paid the 250. I paid the old price for this train and I've seen it for even less than that already on Amazon. So it's, it is an okay value at that price. I would have liked to personally see it around 220 Aussie dollars. 250 isn't terrible for the amount of stuff you're getting, allowing for Lego's price increase as well. You do get a lot of stuff in there. I mean, there's, you know, the usual batch of minifigures. I love, I love the bike that comes with it. The little train stations, you know, quite good, quite well featured. You know, it's a pretty bog standard passenger station as, as usual. The interior is good. But overall, I'm happy with this train. I like it. I like it. I like it more in person than I thought I was going to. So that's what I'm going to say. I think this is good. And I think as a playset, it's fantastic. And that's what ultimately Lego is about. It is a playset at this, in this theme. <laughs> it's a playset. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you think of what I just said. If you agree, if you've got this train, if you've got plans to mod it, if you think you're going to get it now, I've said that. Now I've given you my thoughts on it. I will be modifying this train and I will do that in future videos. Um, <coughs> excuse me. But again, I'd love to know your comments down below. Um, do you agree with what I said? Would you change anything? Do you think it's a rip off? Has it grown on you? Have I sold you on this train? Who knows? If you're interested, there are links down below in the footer for in the description for this video. If you're interested in buying it, it does help my channel. Small sales plug. Um, Anyway, on that note, I'm going to say if you're new here, hit subscribe. I post regularly and I will see you again very soon. Thank you very much for watching.